What is up guys, my name is Mark Santamaria and welcome to my brand new, brand spanking new YouTube channel. We're kind of working on the name, but we're thinking about going with MSM RV Adventures. This is where I'm gonna track all the crazy fun adventures we're gonna do with our RV. I am a brand new RV owner. I purchased an Imagine Grand Designs. Oh, it's a beautiful RV. We are loving it, we are loving it so much. I am brand new, when I say brand new, we're actually at our very, very first very very first RV trip so today guys this is gonna be a quick one uh, I, this this channel is so new guys that I don't even think I can do a thumbnail so I, I'm just hoping you guys watch, watch this thing if you're coming from my other channel I actually have another YouTube channel I am an RC influencer I do remote control cars I'll put a link in the description below of my other channel go check out my other channel if you want to see some fun family things you can do um, but today what we're gonna talk about is I made a huge mistake buying an RV, a huge one. And the mistake actually cost me about 70 grand. So originally when I bought this RV, I went in thinking that I was gonna pull this RV with my brand new Toyota Tundra TRD Pro. And the Toyota Tundra TRD Pro towing capacity is about 10,000 pounds. This RV fully loaded, I don't know what they call it. I'm so new to this, I don't even know what they call it. I think it's called gross vehicle weight or something like that but it's basically the max weight this thing can be is right at 9,000 pounds so on paper I can totally pull it right makes total sense so I pulled the trigger my wife loved it we were like let's just go as big as we can that the truck can pull so the mistake I made is I didn't actually crunch the numbers before you buy the RV crunch all the numbers because there's actually two numbers you got to look at when it comes to towing capacity of your truck you got to look at not only the towing capacity but you need to look at the payload capacity so the difference between towing capacity towing capacity is how much your truck can pull like how big of a trailer your truck can pull and on paper again my truck can pull 10,000 pounds this one was 9,000 pounds I could pull it payload capacity however payload capacity is different payload capacity is how much weight I can have on the truck so my total payload capacity of my Tundra was a thousand I think it was like 1200 pounds 1200 pounds that means that's how much weight can be on the truck the rule of thumb on tongue weight so this is 9,000 pounds the rule of thumb on tongue weight is it's 10 percent the tongue is holding 10 percent of the weight so that means the tongue weight is 900 pounds on this thing you add the crazy hitch and like the propane tanks and all that stuff I don't know if that's factored in I, I doubt the hitch is I rounded it up to a thousand pounds of tongue weight on the truck so that means my truck payload capacity is already a thousand pounds out of the 1200 that my truck can hold and that's without me and my family i'm traveling with four my, me and my family and any equipment which i'm tra i travel i race I, I race rc cars all over the nation i have a lot of equipment that i put in the back of the truck that means i only have 250 pounds because 1200 pound payload capacity that's how much weight can be on the truck plus a tongue weight which is a thousand that leaves me 250 pounds of my family and equipment in the back that's not good guys that is not good so if you haven't figured out where this is going after i bought the rv i purchased the rv so when you buy an rv you got to give them like three days or two or three days to get it all ready for you and then you pick it up later so i had bought the rv plan on picking it up with my toyota tundra when i get home i, I do that whole buyer's remorse thing like i'm like uh oh gotta make a mistake I need to run some numbers. I got a big trip coming. I got to do all this crap. So I ended up doing all the number crunching. And I was like, there's no way I can pull this thing. There's no way. Um, so between the day that I bought it and the day that I picked it up, if you don't know where this is going already, I purchased a new truck. So yeah, it was a $70,000 mistake because these trucks are not cheap. This is a, <laughs> this is a Ford F-250 turbo diesel. Uh, this is more than enough to pull it. Pulls it beautifully on the highway. Barely any sway. Very easily controlled. I'm not white knuckles or anything. Very easy to drive. But yeah, I, I wish I would have made that. I wish I would have known. I wish I would have done a little bit more number crunching and research before I did it. But yeah, that was a $70,000 mistake. But with that said, I wouldn't take back any decisions that I made. <laughs> like seriously, even if I knew about all that, I would have still got this trailer. I probably would have still got the truck. Oh my God, it's so much fun. This kind of family time, you, you it's hard to find. And I have two boys and you guys will meet them in the upcoming vlogs. They are just so excited, so happy. And it's just so much fun 
and I could not pass up on making these kind of memories. So I hope you liked this video guys. If you did, smash the like button. I need y'all to smash the like. And then I also need y'all to subscribe and turn on the notification bell because there's gonna be more of these and we're gonna go all over. It's gonna be a great time. So you guys will see me next time.